The parental control feature of Tech Genie enables you to control access to the internet and even to specific applications for various users on the system. Here's a quick look. When you click on the parental control tab, you get a list of user accounts. Click on the toggle switch to enable parental control and then click on the account you want to set the control on. On the account settings page, click on the toggle switch to enable parental control status. You get options to select the age group of the user and control web, application, keywords and categories. Then click on settings. Web control helps you block websites with inappropriate content on the internet. Once you click on the option, click add URL and then type the URL of the website you want to block. Make sure the block radio button is selected and click add. To edit an entry, click on it and then click edit and update the details. Click on save to apply the changes. To remove a site from the blocked list, click on it and click remove. Click on yes and then click ok to confirm. The application control module helps you block applications for certain users. To configure these settings, go to the corresponding tab and click add application. Click on Browse button to access the path of the application you want to block. Make sure the Block Radio button is selected and click Save. Just like websites, you can edit and remove applications from this list anytime you want to. Keyword control helps you block users' access to instant messages and web pages that contain specific words. To configure this setting, click over to the tab and click Add Keyword. Now type in the word or phrase you want to block, make sure block radio button is selected and click add. Keywords can be edited and removed exactly the same way as websites and applications. The category filter dynamically filters access to websites based on their content. When you set the age of a user, the filter automatically blocks website categories considered inappropriate for them. Although it is effective in most cases, you can manually configure these settings too. To do so, select the appropriate option from the drop-down menu corresponding to the categories and click Save. Click OK to confirm. Lastly, the Events tab under Parental Control displays logs for activities with detailed information, like the user account, event, date and time. Well, now you can control what users on your computer have access to. Hope you make the most of it.